One of the more interesting new things that we can achieve with these new capabilities within Moose is that it's now possible to do full core multi-scale analysis where we can actually do microstructural simulations that actually inform the engineering scale simulations for the entire reactor. And one of the ways that we wanted to try this first is by tackling a problem that is very relevant to industry today which is looking at the buildup of deposits within the reactor. These particular type of deposits called CRUD end up impacting the efficiency of an operating nuclear reactor. These deposits build up on the outside of the nuclear fuel over the lifetime of that fuel in the reactor and actually impede the fissioning process that generates the heat. And so what we wanted to do was actually model the buildup of this microstructure and see if we can simulate this efficiency loss within the reactor. And so what we're looking at here is a similar simulation to what we just saw. But what we've done is we've added microstructure simulations that are actually going to be growing these deposits on the outside of each of the individual fuel elements. So there's six of these microstructure simulations happening on the outside of each of the 3,500 fuel elements within the nuclear reactor. And as those deposits grow, they're going to impede the heat generation of the fuel, and they're also going to impede the neutronics, the actual fissioning process itself, in order to lower the efficiency of the reactor. On the left side, we're going to be looking at the fission rate, which is the actual power inside of the reactor and there's a red line plot there that's going to be showing you the shape of that power as it goes from top to bottom within the reactor. The middle view there is actually showing the buildup of these deposits, these boron deposits, on the outside of the fuel, and we're just looking at the deposits for one particular pen within the reactor, which is pictured there in the middle, and you can see how as the deposits build up on the outside of the fuel rod, the power shifts towards the bottom of the reactor. And what this causes is a local hot spotting. It causes efficiency loss within the reactor. It's just a large operating problem. And we're getting this response from a science-based approach where we're actually simulating the microstructural changes that are happening on the outside of all of the fuel rods, and then the impact of that on the engineering scale, fission rate, and heat generation. Through this type of modeling and simulation, we're able to better understand the mechanisms that cause efficiency loss within a nuclear reactor. And by understanding from a fundamental level, from the microstructural level, we can actually design materials that might allow us to keep these effects from happening.